Yes, my mouth looks massive. Greetings and salutations, uh, bats, ghouls, vampires, goblins, gargoyles. Gargoyles. Most gargoyles are, are, are most welcome of all. I love gargoyles. We will do a creep chair collection at some stage, and the gargoyle is by far, no matter how many beautiful colored Dark Lords Killstar releases, the, the, the gargoyle is my favorite of all time. It is just adorable, but I digress. So the main purpose of this video is I will show you one of my favorites makeup brands these days um, in terms of I guess color and the aesthetic and everything is the Lovelace Cosmetics for Victoria Lovelace. You might wonder why I make so many videos about it because uh, this will be probably one of the two that will come out fairly closer together. I want to support a fairly independent brand, for one, and I genuinely like, like it. I'm wearing this palette here, which is the Blood Countess, which just came out and already sold out once, and will probably sell out again, because it's great. And I just also find it convenient filming these really close together for obvious reasons of saving time. I, I've released a few quite bulky videos and they're hard to make. So I will tell you that secret right now. I will take you through today the lip swatches of all of them. So there's a few. I think I have all of them, at least I hope I have all of them. So there's a whole bunch of them. Ah, one fell down. I will pick it up later. Yeah, so we have eight of them. We will be swatching them, so I will take this off and I will start with um, the lighter shades. Right, so the lipstick is off. I destroyed my foundation around my mouth, as you do. So what we're going to start with is Belladonna, which is this shade number 12. Not that colors matter, but you know, that's what it says in the bottom. I said bottom. Um, I don't think it will sort of match the eye look, but you know, it's a lip swatch, so not all of them will. And there you go. That's Belladonna. You might note that I've somewhat overlined my lips. I would like to point out that that is not intentional in the slightest. I just screw up. So if you see me with overlined lips at any stage, that just means I screwed up. <laughs> I do that a lot. So yeah. It's a beautiful shade. Probably won't yeah, go with the eyes or anything, but I, I like purple. I have so many purple things. Like I promised maybe in the previous video, but I haven't, may not have released that video. But um, I will do a purple look, like in clothes in general, so I might actually use this for, for that. I, I love it. It's not something that's obviously worn every day, but you know, frankly, I don't do makeup very often. When I do makeup, I do some makeup for work, but that's like the bare, bare minimum. But if I do wear makeup out, I wear really bright stuff. So when Lovelace Cosmetics said, we're not gonna do nudes, I totally support that. There's enough nudes in life. Especially, we don't go out very often for various reasons. And um, when we do go out, uh, we go out to gigs. Like it's metal gigs all the way, or sometimes it's something gothier, but metal gigs are more common out these parts. So when we do go to metal gigs, we, yeah, we just go all out, really. Yeah, I'm sorry, I just got really thirsty um, with my kill star. Ah, oh, love it. It's quite handy. I always wonder why people use these and then I realize, God, if you're doing makeup, you're gonna, mm, yeah, you can't really sort of 
skull with the glass. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and then we're gonna move on to the next shade. Now I have to say, these come off like fairly simple with micellar water and some of them don't and even when I've had it on, not this one but the previous one I've had it on for way longer so it did set. Um, micellar water like literally took it off real quick. I, I try not to use like face halo type multi-use things because kind of like with very pigmented eyeshadow it's sometimes really hard to get liquid lipstick off those things later. Um, and then that limits the use of them. How do you take liquid lipstick off and which ones come off easier for you? Like I find I love Black Moon Cosmetics and I mentioned that previously I think in the Killstar video when I was trying the Killstar lipstick but they have the side effect of drawing my lips like terribly and I'm always sort of wondering how people, what people use and what people use to take them off. Black Moon comes off like real hard so I do tend to even start using oil or, or something like that to take it off. Um, but this one, like micellar water, does it here and it wouldn't work with Black Moon for me anyway. Um, so yeah, comment down below what you use because I'm super interested to find out the sort of easiest way of doing it. Uh, because yeah, sometimes you um, you go somewhere and you haven't brought an oil or, or what and all you have is micellar water and then you have to scrub it and yeah, it's just... It's a pain. So yeah, if you know, if you know the trick, tell me. I would really love to know that. So next we're gonna move on to... Which one is lighter? That one, obviously. In comparison, there's a red, there's a black. Obviously black comes last. Yeah, let's go with this one. So this is number 17, which I believe is this beautiful muted color called Ada. So we're gonna go try that. And again, I will do this. Oh wow. It's not as purple as it looks in the... Is it? Like, it's more... It's darker and it's kind of more... I don't know, it's like more... It has a grey kind of undertone, which is kind of cool. Okay, so even more massive overline. Actually looks interesting. I don't usually have such a big mouth. I do, but in a different way. Um, okay, so looks much darker, doesn't it? Nice color though. I mean, it's more, definitely more wearable than the previous one. Yes, my mouth looks massive. Okay, we will move on and try and move on. We're here, number 14, which is, I believe, Magical Vampire Princess. So this is obviously the favorite, considering that's what Victoria Lovelace calls herself, and she's the founder. I've always been drawn, it's probably a childhood thing, to colors like this because 80s. I love the 80s and I find colors used a lot in the 80s very attractive and that's why purple is one of them. This does come on, like this color I find is a little bit patchy, but I think it's it's common with purples. However, it doesn't, like the, obviously, the less coats you put on, the less drying it is, but they're not as drying as others, so. Right, then we have shade, I want to do crimson, which is this beautiful bright red. I will finish this and come back. So, this is a really pretty shade. I think it's actually darker 
on the lips than it is here. So it's bright red here, but it's actually, I think, more... Yeah. See what I mean? It's like, not as... light. Entirely different application experience. Because again, not purple. Purples are hard for makeup. It is gorgeous. Love it. It is absolutely gorgeous. Okay, so we've done that one and then we will move on. Do you know what? I think I'm, I'm ready to try toxic. So I will wash this off and come right back and we can do another one. Okay, and I am back and I'm ready to go. And here it is, green shade. Kids, don't try this at home. Whoa, I like it. I gotta say, I don't have anything like this. So this was a good find. I do have like a turquoise kind of shade from Sephora. Just thought it'd be fun to have. And I have dark metallic green from Black Moon, a shade called Myth. You do need a few coats of this. And I have just the palette to pair this with. I think what oh, this would go really well with. I will show you now what it is actually because I just have it really handy here. So, Native by the absolutely stunning Shinexo. It might not look like it, considering what I'm doing here, but Shinexo is like the main inspiration behind this channel and in general. Like she started so young and she's so dedicated and she's such a great businesswoman. I mean, look at this. This is like a tribute to New Zealand. Like, look at how amazing this is. For those of you who don't know, she's like one of the biggest beauty YouTubers ever, but she's from New Zealand. She's from Palmerston North. If you ever go to Palmerston North, you will understand what, how amazing this girl is and what she's done, you know. It's, it's not a big city at all. And I, I'm just, I'm in awe at everything she's done. This palette is stunning and she has other palettes um, uh, and I went to the launch of her first one and they have this photo with her and I will post it when I find it uh, as well here for you. <laughs> just just look at us. I mean we're like we're so polar opposite but um, I think she's great. Like I think she's so accomplished at 28. You know I wish I was like that at 28. I, I, I But I can't say that. I was nowhere near. <laughs> We're not worthy. Back to Lovelace Cosmetics. This shade, of course, doesn't go with the eyes, but I mean, can we appreciate how awesome this will look with a more cool toned, kind of green, gray, sort of maybe even brown or something? Oh, oh love it. Uh, maybe copper. Something like that. I will. I will play with this. This is. This is a sensational color. Okay, and we'll move on to our next color in a second, which is the Immortal Kiss. And we're back. And on with the show. Immortal Kiss. Get ready. Ew, I still have green. Sorry. Didn't see that. Okay. Whoa. Dark and scary. Mm. 
This is a bit, mm, a bit runny, a bit harder to apply. It's kind of like that. The Vampire Princess shade. I think there's something about the dark coat color. But I love the shade and the, I think the formula in terms of wear on the lips. is much gentler than a lot of these lipsticks. Really pretty. Again, probably not with this eye look. We are down to two. The blue and the black, which is great because my camera battery says it's time. Okay, as they sang in a very old song, this could be heaven or this could be hell. It's very blue. Again, it's pretty sheer coming on. And it's a very unique color. Not many brands do this. It's still a bit sheer. Look, we're gonna do the top lip and then just do another coat. Because, well, I think it'll work better. So. There you go. It is gorgeous. And absolutely unique. So I will wash it off and we'll come to the black. And yeah. Okay. We're ready. Can't remember what she called this one. Uh, Raven. Yes, of course. Raven. Beautiful. Beautiful name. For our... Well... Should be everyone's favorite shade, right? Well, it's interesting how the black is actually better than the purples and the darker colors. straight away like it's the coverage is insanely good uh, compared to it's not as streaky as the purple ones it must be really hard to do the purples a very few brands succeed like fully you know I'm beginning to understand how people do their lipstick so straight if you <laughs> do this all the time, every day, multiple times, you do get better. Well, this one is real good for, you know, black number 29, by the way. But You'll know. It's black. It's beautiful. I like it. For this look though, I almost feel like you gotta put some Belladonna on or something. Just to, you know, make it worth it. Actually, it would have been better to do this one. Let's try that one. Bear with me, it'll look better. It is missing something. 
missing a bright pink. You know what? To do a matchy matchy with this, what we could do is go do version. The same one we used on the eyes. Yeah, now we're talking. Yeah. And that is the finished look for this whole swatching video of what you can do with lovely cosmetic stuff. And yeah, beautiful lip color. So let's go through again. Colors are insane and really pretty. So let's start with the pinker ones. In order of appearance, we have if we have a look here, we have Belladonna, we have Ada, we have Magical Vampire Princess, and we have Immortal Kiss. So the Belladonna, fairly easy to apply, beautiful color, very extra, so not everyday wear, but you know, some of us who have creative jobs probably can get away with it, um, but others, like me, probably can't. Um, then we have Ada, beautiful muted color, fairly easy to wear, easy to apply. Um, then we have the two tricky ones. Um, these are beautiful colors, um, and I really like both of them, but they're a bit tricky to apply. I mean, they're a bit, they go a bit patchy because, well, they're sort of purple dark based and that's really hard to work with normally but once they're on they're really nice so trick is like, let it dry a little bit and then apply another coat because I think that's the best way to go with these but I genuinely like the colors and then we have the more classic goth red and black both apply really well both cover really well straight away it's crimson and that's raven really good then we have these two so colors unique if you know of any dupes tell me these are not patchy these are more sheer so it still needs a few coats to look just the way you want them to but once they're on colors can do interesting stuff with these i am in love with the shades so that was the entire swatch of all the Lovelace Cosmetics lipsticks in existence so far. I really enjoy using them. Uh, I quite like some of the shades that are very unique. I haven't worn the green one or the blue one out yet, and I look forward to that. I can only applaud Lovelace Cosmetics for, you know, starting up. It's, it's hard out there, and uh, I am quite like Victoria and supporting her brand. Again, not sponsored, bought this with my own money because I just really like them. And I will be buying, I, I did buy some clothes, so I'm really hoping that will come through soon. I'm pleased with these and I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you subscribe if you haven't already. And if you're new here, you're very, very welcome. I hope you do subscribe and join us for other videos. And yeah, enjoy the sanctuary and break from the real world that I think YouTube sometimes is. Well, it definitely is for me. Um, and I'm just hoping to create content that would be like that for you, where you go in and 15 minutes, you just sort of, you know, look at something interesting and colorful and just enjoy and get ideas and inspiration from, because that's what, what my idea of YouTube is. A great, pleasant time of day to wherever you are. So yeah, greetings and salutations uh, again, uh, thank you very much for watching.